afternoon, good evening, wherever you are joining me from. My name is IOT, and this is Eagle Tracker, the home of Nigerian footballers. With me, I have a special guest as always. This time, he's the centre back, the player for Nigeria, who just recently made a transfer and made his debut for Slavia Prime. Please introduce yourself to us. Hi, everybody. My name is Igor Wu by name. I'm from uh, Benue State. I'm born and raised in Nigeria. Uh, I'm precisely from Jos as well. So I'm happy to be here. So yeah. thank you very much, Igor, for taking the time to, to speak to me. Um, I won't keep you too long, 15, 20 minutes, just to catch up with you, find out how the season is going, how you are doing, and you know whatever plans you might have for the future. Um, so yes. Um, before we get into what the football talk, you know, there's a there's a lot happening in the world, you know. So my first question is, you know, how are you? How is the family? And how is everything going? Yeah, I would say that, uh, you know, everything has been happening with everything that has been happening in the world today. Look at the the earthquake from uh, Turkey in Syria. It's like something that is touching. You know, a lot of people have lost their loved ones and. And uh, a lot of people are still looking for their loved ones. It's something that we pray that God will see them through. Uh, but with me, I think I'm doing okay. And my family is fine. Uh, you know, as long as we have life and we can breathe, it's a, it's a thing of joy. And we just need to give God thanks. Now, good. I'm very glad to hear that you are doing okay, you know, as well as the family. Okay, so let's, you know, let's get into the, the football talk. Um, yeah, a player that I've been, you know, following, I'll say pretty much since we started Eagles Tracker, we've been tracking your progress, you know, and I mean, I'm happy to say that during the years that we've been following you, you know, we've been able to see the trajectory and mm. growth in your in your journey so far. Um, can you just very quickly tell us, um, moving from Nigeria to Europe to play football, you know, um, I think you've been in Europe for about four or five years now. What is you know what is the biggest thing that you've learned so far and how would you just describe the experience you know i would say the life is a very uh, a very big teacher you know whenever you stop learning that's when you stop growing i think uh, so far uh, what i've learned throughout this journey is to be patient you know to master patience you know uh, we a lot of players when we we come now we all often look at the big players what they do and how they have become there and we look at it like it's so easy but uh, when it comes to to what I learned is uh, patient and grow you know it takes gradual process for every player so that's the most important lesson that I've learned so far amazing amazing and of course you know you left Nigeria and I believe you moved to Norway you know where you stayed for a couple years until you recently departed this this um, January this winter so Moving from Nigeria to Norway, first of all, different language, different culture, everything. And then now, it's not like you even went to London. Norway, that is cold, freezing. <laughs> um, so how were you able to acclimatize? Did it take you some time? Did you need help? You know, how, how were you able to settle down? I think it really takes uh, take some time for me to adapt to the weather as well because it's, it's really, really cold. It's uh, difficult to play football in that weather, you know. Uh, when we go for training, your legs are so freezing. You need to come back after training to try to warm up your legs. Uh, it's been really tough. But, you know, uh, we all are, are football players. We're looking for something, you know. We have something. We have a goal that we chase. So those are the things that drive us, you know, from inside, from within, not just uh, not just the cold, you know. Anybody can, can feel cold and everything, but the most important thing is what drives us inside. And I'm happy that uh, mine has, <laughs> is, I would say that God really helped me through through the time I stayed there to master it. No, amazing. And I mean, even during your time in, in Norway, you know, like I said earlier, there was a, an obvious progression. Um, if I'm not mistaken, you joined um, Sogendal when you initially moved or you know, or even I think you were in a team before something. Yeah, I was in a team called uh, I even forgot the name of this team. <laughs> uh, Lavanga. It's called Lavanga. Uh, Lavanga. I, I played there for half season uh, before I came back to Rosenborg. And I moved, uh, I think I, I went to the Nations Cup first. Then uh, when I came back, that's when I went for Songdal. Mm. 
and then you move to Son now, and then from Son now you move to Lillestrom. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you were making this obvious step up, you know, from one level to another level to mm. another level. Was this something that you know between yourself and your agents? Is this something that you guys had planned? That okay, you know, Igor, we're going to take it step by step in Norway, or was was it how it just happened? I think I think from the beginning, from the onset of uh, me coming to Norway, it's been all about uh, the plan. You know, uh, not just me alone, but um, for other players as well, because we we had this plan that uh, when I come to Norway, I'm not I'm not coming there. Because I have a lot of uh, opportunities as well. I have like in uh, Belgium, I could have gone to Ghent when they sold in DD uh, because I had the opportunity to be there. Uh, but I, I, I didn't because I was looking for somewhere that I can develop myself as a player. So I was thinking that Rosenborg was the right choice for me to make at that moment. So that's why I took that step. I think it was a plan between me, my agent and, uh, and uh, my manager, Baba. Amazing, amazing. That's that's very interesting to hear because you know, um, it's not everybody that is able to maybe turn down opportunity and say, "Oh no, I have a plan that I'm that I'm following." You know, but clearly you guys thought about it, and it is. I mean, so far so good. It is working very well for you. You made your name in in Norway. If you don't know, I will tell you that <laughs> one. I know how many. I know how many people used to message me. Whether journalist, reporter, they'll say, oh, hey, I'm from Norway. I have a few questions about Igor who I just want to know how he is. <laughs> you know, I'm right. I mean, you wouldn't know about yeah. it. I'm telling you. People just like, you know, asking about you, just journalists that mm. come from, from Norway. Um, so let me just ask you one final question mm. before we move to your current club. Um, a couple of years in Norway, you know, what would you say was one, the biggest lesson that you learned? you know, in terms of being a football player? And two, what would you say was the biggest struggle that you faced? I would say the biggest struggle uh, and the lesson that I've learned is uh, more of like, the lesson that I've learned is uh, how to how to be with people, you know. Uh, there are some certain things that you need to, to, to really be be humble about you know even even if you know that you're not supposed you know it's, it's difficult when you know something and somebody is trying to teach you again it's difficult to pay attention to that person you know so we had to come here the biggest challenge was when i came here i had to learn all over again you know and uh which i know some of the things i can do myself but i had to learn again because it's a new culture and a new environment for me to develop as a player as well so I think the biggest challenge I had was uh, when I first came was uh, adapting to the system of play, you know, because when we were when in Nigeria, how we played mostly, we play, uh, you mark your man, you know. So when I came here, it's more of like, you know, it's not man, man, marking. You need to like, it's more of like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you need to, 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 when you mark, you need to leave for the next man, the next man. You just more of communication and, and uh, positional football, so we need to we need to learn that again, you know. So I think that was my biggest challenge at first when I came. But uh, God, God, so kind, you know. I I I learned through it, and I learned what I need to learn. Amazing, yeah. amazing. I mean, well, that you were able to adapt, and I mean that's something that I've heard from a number of, of footballers. You know, when you move to Europe, you have to understand that the way you play ball is now different. You know. Yeah. Yes, it's always nice that you're strong, it's good that you're fast and all those things, but there's a lot more technical things that come into the play and, you know, your ability to now understand the game also comes into it rather than just being able to play the game. Um, so very interesting to hear that from you. Okay, now let's fast forward. You know, we've spoken about your, your days, you know, coming up in Norway. Um, I don't know, maybe other people were aware of this, but personally for me... Um, I was expecting something to happen for you, but honestly, this move to Slavia Prague came as a surprise. You know, I just heard one day, ah, Igobo is joining Slavia Prague. So, you know, is this something that had been in the works for some time? How did this transfer come about? I think uh, since from the, my first season in uh, Lily uh from my first season in Songdal, uh, 2019 to 2020, uh, I have a lot of. Uh, offers both outside Norway and 
I decided to 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 play for the Norwegian club because uh, me and my agent we we discussed and we we talked about it, and uh, we said that okay, since I didn't play the the Norwegian league, uh, we needed to play that you know to to develop more, and uh, we make the agreement together, and I came to Lillestrøm. So after my first year in Lillestrøm, I had a lot of offers, but uh, in Belgium, both in uh, Holland. And in in Turkey, I have a lot a lot of them. They just keep coming. But at that moment, I felt like deep down, you know, every player has these thin instincts inside of him before he goes to a place, what he really wants and where he wants to be. And uh, I I I didn't feel all of those, so I needed to play one more season for myself. I said I needed one more season again. So after this season, I decided to wait. I was supposed to leave since last summer. Uh, I, I was supposed to leave because I already had a meeting and everything. So Slavia, we were talking and talking. So after the season, I just had to wait. And they called me when I was in holiday, and they said, "Okay, uh, what is your final agreement?" And this, and we came to terms with them. And I decided, and I felt like this is a good step for me to take as a player because I feel like uh, it's a step that I will develop even more and become a better player. For me, from Norway to to the Czech League, from Czech League, you know, God knows the next step. So, I I I was uh, then I decided to come here. And me and my agent, we we felt it, and uh, my manager we felt like this is the right step for me to take, and that is why I, I came to 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 Slavia. So oh, amazing! I mean, uh, that's good to hear, and I, I I would definitely agree with you. You know, in the sense that it is a steady progression, you know, from Norway to Czech, you know. It, it makes sense. And Slavia Prague, of course, we know them historically. They are a big team in Czech Republic, you know, win the league a lot of times, you know, play in Europe in the um, Champions League, um, Europa League, Conference League, all that stuff. So it, it would, of, of course, be nice to see you, you know, year after year playing in Europe, you know, on that big stage because, of course, there's even more awareness and visibility for yourself to be able to show your, your abilities. Okay, I'm still talking about Slavia Prague. You know, this January, the, your club was very busy. I mean, we had um, Yuraso was there before. We had a number of people. They let go of like two of the Nigerians. I think Moses also and Yuraso. And then they even also sold the Lion Car, even though he's still there. And then they brought you in. Uh, but when you were joining Slavia Prague, like, you know, were you thinking, oh, I'm coming and I have all these Nigerians? They're not all coming. Everybody. I think, I think, uh... First, I, I, I spoke with uh, Olenka and uh, we spoke in a length and he told me the history of the club, what the club stands for. And I was uh, happy. And uh, to be to be sincere, is when I was coming, I was happy because I, I, still, I feel like it's going to be home, you know, because when you meet uh, uh, people from uh, Nigeria, it's going to be fun, you know, and easy to adapt because uh, you have people there, you know. You're not going to feel like you are from outside like that. So that is why I decided and I was talking to all of them and I said, okay, I'm coming. Uh, suddenly, when I arrived, I just saw everybody was leaving, and I, I told all of them, like I told so, I said to him, I said, "Hey, you told me that hey, you are here. Let me come, and now you leave." <laughs> it's, it's like, it's like, hey, bro, you know, this is football, and I said, "This is fine. I understand because I know this is the game." You know, even my teammate in really strong, all of them, they were, they were not, they were not expecting me to 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 leave because they want us to to achieve something together you know but you know in football you just have to take some steps when it's time for you to take them so oh, yeah and i mean that's football i mean look at um you so say like you mentioned him you know is in gang even um look at um Tularu Kodari. all of a sudden <laughs> last he goes to Southampton. all of a sudden they call him they say i leave mm-hmm. um france i come and meet us here so i mean we know football is is like that these things these things happen okay let's um get towards the end of this conversation now. Um, you made your debut for Slavia Prague, you know, just this past weekend, um, two days ago in a victory, you know. I mean, you're a defender for a striker. striker always wants to score on their debut. So for a defender, I think keeping a clean sheet is, you know, what you, you aim for and you hope for on your debut. So how would you how would you rate yourself, you know, based on your own performance and your first First of all, I would say... Uh... I, I was so happy and amazed because 
Uh, my debut was uh, back in uh, Slavia Stadium and uh, back home, and I was amazed to be uh, for the coach to put me in the in the team. So I think with my performance, I'm happy. But you know, for me, I would say that uh, the best of ego is yet to come. You know, you know, with time, you know, it takes time. Sometimes when you go to a new place, you need to. It takes time for you to to adapt fully, but. With time, you know, I will, I will definitely uh, give all that I can. It's not like uh, in the game I was happy because I put the energy and uh, the, 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 the talking and everything. But, you know, we have to work hard again every day by day. You know how Nigeria they do now? Nigeria people know they carry last. We know they carry last. So anyway, we'll go. we need to put the energy. No matter what in the we fit take on. But with time, you know, we, we are believing time and chance, you know, and season. So that's what I believe in as well. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, I would just say, just to wrap up on that performance, I, like I told you earlier, I think off before we started recording, I was honestly impressed. You made about six interceptions in that game, about 11 duels, you know, that you won in the game, completed, I think, was it 92% of your passes, you know, made eight ball recoveries, you know, and I also watched all your actions in the match. So overall, you know, I thought you you did you did a good job of showing yourself, and I really hope that you know it only continues to get it only continues to get better from here. Um, okay, final question. Um, this is something that even this past weekend I was in question with somebody on Instagram Live, and you know we we got into this question. It's always about super ego, super ego, Nigeria. You know, you are somebody that um, people have mentioned your name to me in the past, saying, "Hey, good defender. When do you think he's going to get called up?" all that stuff. So in your own mind, you obviously are not the coach, you know, you cannot call yourself. But how do you feel about yourself, about your ability and about your standing? Um, are you ready if called? Of course, you know, it's a pleasure every time when your country called you. It's something that I think every day I, I hope for and I believe in. I, pl I played in the under-17 and the under-20, so uh, from then, I know that definitely I'm so ready for for any time because I know sooner or later one day I will be called. So that is the most important thing. So I think I'm ready when it comes to the national team because it would be an honor for me to represent my country and to serve them. So I'm so happy Amazing. when the time comes. You know, I I'm not in a rush. I'm not uh, rushing, but I know for sure that I'm hundred percent ready. Anytime that I got my chance, I will definitely be there. Amazing. And for any Nigerian fan that maybe they are hearing you say you're ready now, they're like, oh, who is this guy? How does he play? If you had to describe your game, three words that you used to describe what ego brings to the field, what would you say are those three words? First of all, I would say one is I'm never afraid. Secondly, I bring energy oh. to my team. And totally, we go all the all for win. We either win or nothing. Mm, amazing, amazing. I like I like the mentality. You know, go all in and try to get everything. All right, it's been a pleasure talking to you, Igor. Um, at the end of the conversation, you know, caught up with you. Find out how the season is going. Once again, congratulations on your recent transfer, making your debut for Slavia Prague. You know, I hope that everything continues to go up from there. Um, can you just give us a, a passing message to your fans, you know, people that are watching this? Yeah, I just uh, want to say uh, thank you. Thank you, Igor Straka. Thank you for for inviting me to this uh, show. And uh, I'm really happy and uh, proud to be part of it. And I want to say to all the fans out there, uh, just thank you very much. Thank you for the support. Thank you for all that you have been, your effort. Uh, we are seeing your effort and and I uh, appreciate you all. Keep watching. The best of Ego is here to come. And go follow Ego Striker. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nice thank you. Too.